Hello, my name is Darren Sanfilippi and I'm a solutions engineer at Verkata. This video will cover enabling people and vehicle analytics for your cameras. The people analytics feature uses powerful edge-based camera capabilities to detect people, faces, and filter results based on clothing color, gender appearance, and the presence of backpacks. While the vehicle analytics can detect the presence of and analyze the properties of vehicles. Let's walk through a few steps to get these features enabled on your Verkata command org. First, you will need to enable these feature sets globally, which requires org admin level permission. Start by clicking on a product menu, then admin, then privacy and security. From here, select the Feature Manager menu option. Scroll down to the section labeled People Analytics. Here, you'll find People History, Person Attribute, Face Detection, and Person of Interest Alerts. Click the drop-down menu and select Enable for each analytic type that you wish to turn on. Review any terms and conditions that appear before accepting. Before you enable the analytics, Please make sure you are complying with your organization's policies as well as any local laws and regulations. Depending on the jurisdiction in which your command organization is registered, Verkata may not permit you to enable certain analytic features. See the link in the video description to learn more. Next, scroll down to the Vehicle Analytics section. Choose if you'd like to enable Vehicle History and License Plate Recognition. Then scroll down to AI-based search features and enable those as well. Now let's work on enabling people and vehicle analytics on your cameras. Click on the product menu, then cameras. Select the camera you would like to enable these features on. Then click the settings button. Then scroll down to analytics. Now you can toggle on each feature or features that you may need. Note you can toggle on person attribute, face detection, and occupancy trend only when people history is enabled. Choose if you want to toggle on vehicle analytics as well. Click done once finished. You'll now see the people icon appear under the cameras feed. You can also turn on these features on a per site basis or for devices in bulk. From the product menu, select devices, Search for the devices you are looking for, or click the checkbox next to your site name to select all the cameras within that site. Click the Edit button, navigate to Analytics, and toggle on the analytics you wish. Click Done when finished. Now let's discuss turning on License Plate Recognition, or LPR. Click the Product menu, Cameras, and select the bullet camera you would like to use for LPR. Click the Settings, then Analytics. Next to the License Plate Recognition, LPR mode, click Enable. Ensure that the camera image is set to the recommended mounting angles and click Next. Configure the optical zoom so that passing vehicles take up more than half of the frame. Use autofocus or manual focus if the image becomes blurry after using the optical zoom and click next. Click and drag a region of interest over the area that the license plates will pass through and click next. The selected area must be less than half of the entire frame. Optionally, you can add a context camera to capture the scene for additional angles and the complete picture of vehicle events and finally click done. Finally, let's turn on AI Power Search. From the camera's homepage, click in the search field and you'll see the option to try AI Powered Search. Acknowledge the terms and conditions. Once accepted, AI based search will be enabled and you can now do freeform search using your own words on almost an unlimited number of person or vehicle related attributes. To learn more about AI Powered Search, See our video on searching in Verkata Command linked in the description. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any further questions, please visit our Knowledge Center or contact our 24-7 support team.